Wow, this was really powerful. Hi everyone, this is Brittany Bond and Fatty Beck. <laughs> and we are reporting live from our living room to share with you all about Rape. So many people have asked us or asked me personally, uh, why what is Rape? Why do you use it? Okay, now I'm actually interested. I want to use it. Can you show me how to do it? So we are going to give you a rape tutorial today and at the end of it i am actually going to serve fair day rape so that you can experientially see it understand it and know how to use it um so first off wh what is rape so rape is ceremonial tobacco the first time i ever encountered it um or one of the first things i ever encountered it was right before i had my first ayahuasca ceremony the shaman uses it, a lot of shamans use it to clear their energy field. So it's a permission slip to clear our energy auras. And he offered it to us um, to, do, to do that before we took uh, ayahuasca to prepare our body and our energy for the medicine. And I said yes, and I did it, and he, or he served me. And I was so like blown away by it like in my body that I had to like crawl back to my place like he also gave me a lot we're not going to do that today to you Faraday um, but just know that this is not a psychedelic uh, this is actually tobacco that is uh, has different other added things like spices or different tree bark and different things um, that clear your energy field so this is what Rapi is it's a permission slip so shamans do it a lot themselves before they serve other people and after they serve other people. So one, they're clean energetically. And then after they serve people medicine and like maybe host an ayahuasca ceremony or something like this, they will do rape again to again clear themselves. And sometimes they'll even do it in the middle of the ceremony. So this is like a resource for us to clear our energy field. Everyone reacts differently to this. So, for instance, Faraday doesn't really like putting things up his nose. I found out recently a it actually comes from a trauma of when he was in the hospital and had p tubes down his nose. So that's fair enough. Um, I it really is a good permission slip, permission slip for me to connect to my higher self. So when I take it, I have done breath work. I'm meditating for like 15 minutes and then I set an intention of like a question I want to ask my higher self or a feeling I want to embody, a vibration I want to embody that day. And then I will take Rape and I'll let it work through my system and then I'll like go straight to source and connect to my higher self, get a lot of downloads and I feel so good in my body. And when I'm triggered, sometimes this is also a really good permission slip to connect back to my body, ground myself, center. So you can use it in many different ways. Um, a couple of things people ask is like, how often can you use rape before it's like a bad thing? Um, I've talked to a shaman before and he said one to two times a day is okay, like up to one to two times a day. Sometimes shamans will use it three times a day if they're doing ceremonies. Um, but just like any, so it's not addictive, but just like anything, you can make anything addictive. So just be aware of that. Sometimes people use it as a shortcut to try and get to their higher self or instead of meditating, you know, they do rape. And I always encourage myself at least is if I'm going to do rape, I'm like, I have to do breath work first, which gets me into my meditative state. And I meditate for like 10 minutes and then I do rape. Um, so there's different types of rape and this is also what's confusing is when people go and like get rape they're like why are all these different names so like I was saying they have different things in them like they can have spices or different trees and different things mixed in when they burn the tobacco and then that's also the energy of who's creating it and all this stuff actually really matters because a lot of this is comes from tribes like in the Amazon this is where it originated from and so the energy of who makes it also really affects it. The more you get into spiritual things, the more you realize <coughs> the energy of everything matters. So for me, I um, I love getting the rape that is from my friends Ole and Simon, and this is the brand. It's called Rapacito, um, and I'll put the link for it in the chat here. They are based in Berlin, um, and they also ship around the whole world, so you can get it anywhere. Um, and then the thing to know is that 
in the different types of Rafe, there's different energies. So you can ha take one that is more masculine energy and one that's more feminine energy. I usually like to have on hand one of each. So um, my favorite Rafe that I, the type that I use is this one, which is a masculine energy and it's, it's called Sumo. So I'll put that there. Um, so this is the masculine one that I really recommend and like. And then the one that I've been using, that's the feminine energy. I don't, I'm going to butcher the way this is said. It's Mulatero. Um, so these are also really nice. Um, so if you're going on the Rapacito re website and you're like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Well, what kind of rapé should I get? These are the two that I really recommend. Like the Sumo is my favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Because this is also like the one that I was served originally. And a lot of shamans use this. This is kind of like the the rapes like Palo Santo, you know, like this is like the core ingredient in a lot of different rapes. Um, is there anything that I forgot? Like any questions that you had when you were like first, like what is it? I mean, this is m mostly to show it. You can do like a whole podcast, your experiences. Maybe yeah. you want to go into your like day to day how you use it, why you why you do it, why do you do it? But I did, I shared that. I said, it for me, it's like an op permission slip to yeah. connect to source. And I, I think always you said everything. Yeah, I always like ask a question first. Did you just phase out? <laughs> you totally bit. just zoned out. <laughs> I was like, wow, because what you read to me earlier, I was like, whoa, it was so activating. Come on, Atlantis stuff. Okay, so <laughs> without further ado, then I will offer you, Rafe, would you like to be served? Um, yes. Oh, I guess I should tell people. So... Serving pipes, there's a there's a name for these that is like special and I can never remember the name. I call it a serving pipe. Um, maybe we'll put in the video what the actual name is so when you look it up online you can find it. Um, but there's two different types of serving pipe. This is a, a self-serving pipe. So you actually can serve yourself. This is the one that I use. Like you literally put one. So... So I'll show you when I serve him, but you literally put some in your hand and you half, you put half of it in the pipe and you do one nostril, blow it up, drink some water, like ground yourself, and then you do the other side. Um, in when If you're like with a shaman or someone who's like serving this officially like to a lot of people in a lot of settings, they have like a long serving pipe that you can't obviously use yourself. So there's two different types of serving pipes, but if you're going to use this at home, like for yourself, you want to get one of these, which is a self-serving pipe. And usually there's one side that's longer. This, the side that is shorter is the one that goes in your mouth. The longer side reaches up to your nose. But you can also use those to serve others. Like yes, that's what which you we're going to do right now. It's a little, you have to get like a little close and personal. Mm. <laughs> and I also, I think the, the longer serving pipes, like they get farther up your nose, which gives you a, like a more of an effect. So those, yeah. are, those are better when you're serving other people. Uh, but it, it totally works to serve people like this. I've done it many times. Um, another thing is, so um, the Rapacito brand, I love it so much that I just ran out of it. I'm waiting to get more in the mail. Uh, so we're going to use another friend's brand here on the island um, that you can get at Eco here. My friend Vashik makes this. So for me, it's like really important in whatever I'm doing that the energy is good of the people behind it. And like both these people are good friends of mine. Um, and, and do you have a code or a link? Yeah, for the Rapacito, I, w I was saying that I'll put it in the comments. Uh, a link? Mm -hmm. Yeah, use Britney's link to support her. Yeah. It's an affiliate link, so I get 11%, I think. Um, but also, I just really support them. I love Ole and Simon. Yeah, it's like goes hand in hand. Yeah, like all the energy is good energy. We're a tribe. We support each yeah, other. Yeah, and this is the thing. is like we're all New Earth, and we're doing... We're a New Earth community, and we're doing things we love, so let's keep supporting each other in that. And like for me, the thing I love is sharing about all my friends. Yeah, and you told me before in this video, your highest excitement to record this is because one of our close friends wants to go y you can tell them yeah carl wants to get one of my friends carl he wants to get some rape for his mom for her birthday and he was like Brittany, you're the rape queen you need to tell me what to do or where to buy and then like he knows ole and simon's brand he met ole their friends but he's like i'm still overwhelmed like what should i get on the website like how do i serve how do i tell her how to use it because he's only really had me serve him so uh this video is for Carl's mom as well. Happy birthday. And uh, to support our friends. Like, we're yeah. all in tribe and we invite you to mm -hmm. join the family. <laughs> 
Um, so, oh, uh, one more thing I want to say about Rafa before I serve you is that if you have a hard time connecting to your body, this is a very good permission slip for you because Rafa is all about getting in your body. You really don't have a choice but to be in your body. So when you're getting, when you're about to take Rafa, some key ingredients that you need, serving pipe, still can't remember the name of that for real, Rafa, water. So I actually encourage drinking like a lot of water before because if you're dehydrated, the rape is not going to like, it, so it circulates through your sinuses and actually is a, like a disinfectant. So say you're getting sick, like I use rape a lot if I'm like starting to get a head cold and it will like literally clean out stuff in my mucus glands and then I spit it out, which is a little gross, but it is good for you. So drink a lot of water before and then in the middle of it or any moment afterwards, if you're feeling like I need to drink water, then drink some water. You want some tissues so you can wipe your nose and then something to spit in. So this is something that also for me, being myself, I had a hard time with at first is like when when my friend showed me how to use it first, he was like, one thing about rape is you have to be okay with spitting. It is not a big deal. Everyone spits. Because the rape will go up through your sinuses, ba through the back of your throat, and you, if you swallow some of it, it's okay, it's fine. But the thing is, is it actually is cleaning, like, me like, I want to say scientifically, but that's not the right word. It's, it's like cleaning out your sinuses. So the more you can spit out the rape, the better, because it's like cleaning the stuff that you don't want in your body anymore, like energy and also like actual mucus that you don't want there. So you will feel it like when it starts to come out, you're like, oh, there's some there's like something in my throat that's not just saliva. And then you just spit it out and it's fine. Um, and, and if you get if you if you take rape for like the first time, you might not spit for first, like the first couple of times you've taken it, you really haven't spit that much. Right. Mm -hmm. No. So it's OK if you don't. But if you take it a lot, you'll start understanding what I mean. I'm also not such a spitter. <laughs> like I don't really don't spit. Like <laughs> Okay, so... I don't get spitting so much. I don't have much to spit. <laughs> what? Maybe you need to drink more water. I don't know. <laughs> it's got no words. Okay, we're going to do this now. Should we set up the other audio? Yeah. For me, it's more that it's... Um, I need to uh, blow my nose a lot. Okay. Maybe maybe it's also because I, I have only done it actually three times and like mild versions... Mm -hmm. Like maybe it was never shot up my nose so high that it's like it actually gets to the back of your throat. Yeah, pro th that's probably the thing. Do you want me to go hard today? Maybe go slow. <laughs> the rolls, the table has turned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? Born ready. Shoot it up my nose. That's what she said. Should, oh. we, should we change the audio? Yeah. Okay. One second. Okay, so we are going to have. A serving pipe, some rape, and what you normally do is you put some in your hand. How much you take is going to affect how much, how strong it is. So take a little bit at first. I will show you how much I'm going to serve him. So about that much. I think it's always way better to serve less first or take less first and then, you know, you can keep going. But if you take a lot, you can't really go back. I mean... Unless you, because the thing is, you're going to put half up each nostril, right? So if you take a lot and then you're like, oh, fuck, that was a lot. Just take a little bit on the other side to balance yourself out. And then another thing to know is everything's energy, right? Your left side of your face is your feminine energy and your right side is your masculine energy. So if you're feeling a little bit more in your masculine and you want to shift that energy down into your feminine, then you would take more on your right side, which is your masculine side, to kind of like balance you out. And vice versa, if you're like really in your feminine, very in your feelings, and you kind of want to like rise up a little bit out of that, you could take a little bit more rape on your left side. Always follow your intuition. This is very important when you're just doing spiritual work. So again, this is how much I'm serving him. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Are you scared? No, I'm just like in my head because the microphone is like in between us. So this is like, uh, I want to be like present. So, but I want to have the sound. So I, I'm like thinking right now. Um, Hello? <laughs> because it's like, this is like, this is going to be like. All I want to do is tell a couple of things and you can just put it down. 
when I actually serve you. But, but um, what else you want to say? About like how they breathe when it happens. Okay, so let me just tell, explain a couple more things and then we'll just show them. I'll okay. put the mic down. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain a couple more things and then we're going to put the mic down so then I can actually serve him and then you just observe, right? So I put in half right now. I'm not going to do it yet, but I will explain what I'm going to do. Um, so when, if you're serving someone, you don't want to just put it up the nose and like scare them. You want to be like, okay, I'm going to touch this side of your face. I'm going to ground you. We're going to look at each other. I'm going to connect to my higher self. I'm going to connect to my heart. And you take moments to do this. You'll see me doing this. So you can't see it. Like this is connecting to my higher self. This is connecting to my heart. And then I will connect to his higher self and connect to his heart, right? And then I will connect here to be like, okay, I'm coming in. And then I will put this in his nose. I'm not gonna do it yet, sorry. And then when you, when you have it in there, the person, all they need to do is lock the back of their throat. So literally don't breathe in or out when you're being served or when you serve yourself, right? But the thing to remember is right after you serve someone, they need to breathe out of their mouth. If they try and breathe up their nose, which you just put rape up there, it's not going to work very well or they're going to start coughing, right? So you'll see, you'll notice that I will serve one side, make sure he's grounded, maybe he needs to drink some water or whatever, but pretty, you want, you want to pretty immediately serve the other side or serve yourself on the other side because the full effect is going to start taking on and it lasts about five to ten minutes. So are you ready? Ready. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. And one more thing that I forgot to say is... No, no, it's... Uh, you can hear? Yeah. Is that... Uh, put on meditation music.
the mics in again. Oh, we can share it like this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this was really powerful. I have such a resistance when it comes to that. Um, like we can share the whole, I can share, whoa, I'm feeling so high. Maybe I, I activated <coughs> your Atlantean DNA. Yeah, and and like both, I also got flashbacks of the hospital time. Because hmm. I guess like I can share the whole story of this traumatic experience with those tubes. So for me, I don't know how you do it every day because it's like it's like a lot i don't know if you get used to it like was it at the beginning also a lot for you not yeah, really no okay for me it's a lot i mean it was a lot in the way that sensations took over my body but like the putting out my nose was <sighs> like of course you don't like it in like the first moment but then it's fine <sighs> yeah i don't know if i could get over this resistance like serving it myself mm -hmm. so if if people listening having someone else do it for the first time i think it's really nice i think you should definitely try and have someone else do it yeah who knows what they're doing like i never surfed it myself <coughs> and like w just telling people when you put in your nose you may be like being like what the fuck why am i doing this it's like it hurting a lot but then when you breathe and spit a bit and I don't know if you should blow your nose, probably not right away. They say try and blow your nose like after five minutes because the rapé, yeah. even if it's still in your nose, it's like cleaning out toxins and doing stuff. But then it's like so, it's like so nice. It's what happened? Yeah, it's, um, it's like, you know, the polarity that kicks me really in my body, like shuts my mental mind off. I really feel it, especially my tummy and then I'm also getting super high like spirit like boom I'm also saying to myself like raise my frequency as high as it feels good in my body and it's um it's like really psychedelic even though it's not psychedelic it's a super nice permission slip mm -hmm. it's like DMT because it's not for so long mm -hmm. but it's like such a reset where it, if you're like going through a lot or having a day and you want to reset and having a permission slip to meditate and really because sometimes when i meditate it's challenging to shut down my physical mind but there it's just does the job for me and yeah it's just the, the the sensations in your body it's so intense it feels so good to be in your body it's really wow i just wish it would be like this this first thing would be easier so maybe it does get easier maybe because it's the the trauma like I got these flashbacks of the hospital, like, but then it's also nice because I remembered my mom being there and mm. like touching my nose to calm me down when they like forced it Your ear. in, yeah, my ear. Um, and it's like it's so nice doing it with someone you love. Like I felt yeah. so connected to you. Uh, like I'm so thankful that you like you served me. And I could feel your energy, and I'm just I'm so. I was in there protecting you. Mm. Doing energy work on you. I just was so grateful for our connection mm. and like, like where we're at right now, like our day to day. Mm. I got flashbacks so we made love earlier, mm. and it's just like, it's so like, it's so dreamy the place we're at, and it's all coming to us. Like what you read earlier, the Atlantean things were like really sinking in because what you said earlier, it was more that I feel it, what you said, then understanding it intellectually. So it's like I start to remember so much of other timelines and who we are, where we come from. So yeah, and this is this is like a safe way because with psychedelics sometimes it's too much, you know? I'm like, oh shit, I'm too awake. And here now I can feel it like fading. So this is this is really good because I don't want this peak to last. Mm -hmm. so thank you and definitely when you take it make sure you have time afterwards to crown because you don't know what it brings up like this is this mm -hmm. is a powerful permission slip to bring up things that are like like I remember things from the hospital that I didn't remember before it's just like can bring up traumatic things in your body and they're like as you like said they're like being stuck and then it processes the energy yes so make sure you have time afterwards that so you don't like, oh, I'm doing this and then I'm jumping on a call. Like, 
<laughs> um, so yeah, feeling really good. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me serve you. Was this a mild one? Oh, I feel like I gave you the amount that I usually take every day, which for you is probably a lot. Because like you build up a tolerance a little bit. I have a lot of respect for you doing it. I mean, I go straight into source, basically. Yeah. And then I'm like in template reality, like, okay, what do I want to do today? What reality do I want to create? Like, who do I want to be in that reality? What vibration? And then I get like downloads from other timelines. I understand why I reacted crazy the yesterday to something else. Like, it's just all like coming through, you know? That's why I just sit there for like 15 minutes sometimes afterwards, just like allowing mm -hmm. it all to settle. And sometimes I'll even have a notepad or my notes out next to me. And I'll just write down like, okay, I need to message this person like this thing. I'll get downloads of like, and this is what my higher self actually wants me to do in the situation. Mm. And then I'll like yeah. write down things. And then after I come out of it, because sometimes in the past I would get so excited to message someone that I would try and message them while I was in the middle of it. And then like my words wouldn't be coming out right. And then I'm like, also, why am I giving my energy away to other people? Let's just like write them downloads down. Sorry. You're no, no, still in no, it. No, no, this is, this is, uh, I don't know. It's just like, this about to sneeze, you know? <laughs> Um, no, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when I s say it's like it's hurting a lot, I'm being traumatic. It's like it's I think on what I've experienced with these tubes. Yeah, it's your trauma. Yeah. It's okay. I have certain things like that as well, like being cold. I have trauma around being cold. Why? I think just growing up in California and then moving to a state in the states where it was very cold all the time and we were very poor and we couldn't afford heating, my ex-husband and I. And so like, I would be cold inside my house where you could see your breath. Mm. And I was just, I just like never warmed up and then I just like didn't want to get out of bed. Okay, okay. done talking about trauma here. <laughs> um, I want to lay down and put my sleeping mask on for like a little bit. Okay, I want to do some rap right now too. Yeah. And there's tons of baby chicks out our window now. Mm -hmm. We just live in a little farmstead already. Wow, well, if you don't see through this illusion that this is a physical reality dream, then I encourage you to close your eyes, do some powerful permission slips that are calling to you. And if this one is calling to you, do it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really powerful. Let's show them what our view looks like. Okay, signing off. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. <laughs> I want to show them. Yeah, th that's what we look at. That's why we record it here, being connected to nature, because we are nature. Yeah, I usually meditate and stare into this view, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby, I think I want to get my own rapi set, because now that I'm like over psychedelics or taking a break, this is, this is great. Because like yesterday I said like, oh, I'm excited for you want to know why my face is so shiny? It's because I put aloe vera on it. No more psychedelics for you. Yeah, yeah. and yesterday I had like this itch of like, mm, I want to have something because psychedelics are so fun. This, but this is a great sober permission slip. Yeah. And do you usually do the breath work now before, right? Yeah, because I, I after I'm doing it, like, and there's some times where I don't take rapé for like many months. And then there's some times where I'm like, okay, I really need this because I need to like connect to my higher self more or I'm feeling a little triggered right now or whatever, whatever. Like you intuitively know when you need the, the permission slip. Lately, I have been really enjoying it, but then I've been feeling like I want to grow my energy work tools and resources and breath work if you want to become more of a witch or a mage, a magician, uh, breath work is where it is at when you control your breath. So mm -hmm. I've been like making that my permission set before I do rape because when I do that, also the rape is way stronger. So you can mm. go online and look up, there's a really cool YouTube channel that we like called Breathwork Beats and they have like 10 minute breath work and you can just follow along. That's what you usually do. We link our favorites 10 minutes on below. Yeah. And then, and then I do rapé afterwards. <laughs> My face is so shiny <laughs> right now. Maybe this is just being real. Wow, and uh, putting on the music one, thank you, this was a big one. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't do rapé unless there's music and usually my big headphones. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a major one. And the arm sound is, is a great one for this because mm -hmm. you can, like, get in the arm chanting yourself. Mm -hmm. I usually never burp. 
It's energy clearing. And so if you burp, sneeze, spit, sometimes you spit without actually having the rape come up, but it's just like toxins that are trying to come out of your body or energy that wants to get out of your body. So in yawning, all of this is energy releasing. So just welcome all of it. And I feel like for men who are like me that don't cry naturally so often because when I take it, there are always tears mm -hmm. coming out my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, did you see it? Yes, baby, I saw it. Okay, maybe this was the realest rape video out there. Do you say rape or rape? Rape. <laughs> what do you say? I say rape, but I'm <laughs> like from California, so yeah. just puts up. I like rape more. Rape. People say like rape, I'm like rape. <laughs> I'm like. I mean, maybe if they're from South America, that's just how they pronounce mm. it. Okay, I cannot anymore with my face. It's so shiny. All right, baby, thank you. Baby, thank I you. love you so much. I love you too. Okay, I'm going to do rape now too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.